How about the threat to the United States? Most intelligence analysis has predicted that al-Qaeda would come back 18 to 24 months after a withdrawal of American troops. Is that analysis now being revised? Could it be sooner? It could be, but George, look, here's the deal. Al-Qaeda, ISIS, they metastasize. There's a significantly greater threat to the United States from Syria. There's a significant greater threat from East Africa. There's significant greater threat to other places in the world than it is from the mountains of Afghanistan. And we have maintained the ability to have an over the horizon capability to take them out. We don't have a military in Syria to make sure that we're going to be protected. And you're confident we're going to have that in Afghanistan? Yeah, I'm confident we're going to have the over horizon capability, yes. The deal is the threat from Al Qaeda and their associate organizations is greater in other parts of the world to the United States than it is from Afghanistan. Here's a fact check. About 900 American troops are stationed in Syria as of now. These troops support the Syrian Democratic Forces who are opposed to the government of Bashar al-Assad. The SDF continues to fight ISIS. So far, the U.S. has no plans of pulling the troops out of Syria, even though Biden has expressed willingness to end wars that the U.S. has been engaged in for years without a clear objective. Former U.S. President Donald Trump had ordered a withdrawal in Syria in 2018, saying the U.S. had won against ISIS. However, in 2019, the then commander of the U.S. military had recalled troops back in Syria.